Hey guys, John Bergsman here with today's version of the video, Hot Bites. I'm sitting on the top of my Angler Quest pontoon and we're here in Alpena, Michigan, finishing up an awesome show and a great day of trolling. So today we're gonna talk about six great bites. We're gonna talk about the Monroe to Port Clinton uh, perch bite that's going on right now on Lake Erie. We're gonna slide up north to Tawas. We got an awesome report from uh, Nick, a good friend of mine, who says that the walleye bite and lake trout bite is going really good out of Tawas. Slide a little further north. I'm gonna give you a personal report for Alpena. Then we're gonna slide up to Sheboygan. I'll give you a personal report for there. Mackinac City, another personal report, and St. Ignace, because I've been on all four of those bodies of water in the last week. Stay tuned for six great reports. Lots of fish biting on the east side of Michigan. Stay tuned. So first report of the day, we've got a really good bite that's been going on for several re weeks out of Monroe along the Ohio line all the way to Port Clinton. Now the fish are biting in a variety of different depths. I've had some reports of fish biting very shallow perch I'm talking about now. And, and all the way as shallow as 10 feet. I've also had good consistent reports all the way out to 25 feet in the uh, far western basin and as you get close to Port Clinton then you're going to want to concentrate your efforts around the island especially on the west side of the islands and that's going to be the green and rattlesnake area of the islands there's lots of fish that are biting in that 20 to 35 feet of water hey it looks like one of the most effective presentations has been to cut your emeralds in half and literally lay your perch pounders on the bottom just lifting them and dropping them down to the bottom and lowering them so you actually have slack line and the bait will lay on the bottom. The, the perch have been coming and picking those offerings up and just trying to swim off with them. So that's been really good. The Bait Shop in Waterford is your one-stop live bait and fishing tackle destination. With an awesome selection of rods and reels, custom poured jigs, soft plastics, and panfish baits. The bait shop also has seasonal items for ice fishing, the Spring River walleye run, and summer salmon, bass, walleye, and pan fishing. Visit the bait shop in Waterford for all your bait and tackle needs. Now, the report we got from uh, Nick, a really good friend of mine who bought my polar craft from me last year, Nick and his, uh, and his girlfriend Erica have been spending a bunch of weekends here out of Taos and they've reported, as you see the pictures going over the screen, some awesome catches of heavier walleye and lighter on the lake trout, but a great mix bag going on. And that's a written report. All these today guys are gonna be written reports that you can just go to fishermansdigest.com click on fishing reports and then click on the destination location and that detailed written report's gonna be there. So rather than me spend a bunch of time, time trying to tell you about dipsy sets and all the different ways they were catching the fish, just go to Fisherman's Digest, click and print off that written report. But Taoist Nick has been using lead core line, segmented lead from four all the way out to 10 colors. He's been running spoons, He's been running them about 2.3 to 2.5 miles an hour. And like I said, really good mixed bag of walleye, primarily walleye and also lake trout. White River Tackles Perch Pounder is the finest two hook perch rig in the industry. Its unique fish skin technology coupled with a soft low bead make the perch pounder irresistible to fish. Available in a variety of fish catching colors, simply tip each hook with your favorite live bait and let the fun begin. So whether it's perch, crappie, or bluegill, ask for White River's Perch Pounder by name. So I'm up here today in Alpena, Michigan, and I spent the morning here with a couple of guys from West Michigan, uh, Scott Matei and uh, Derek Nykamp, and we did some casting on Hubbard Lake and we got three bang, three beautiful walleyes. Then we quick yanked the boat. We pulled over here to the Alpena region, just north of Alpena here. We're out of Presque Isle today. 
and we're trolling back towards Rockport and we got a really nice mix bag. And the biggest thing that I can tell you about what's going on right now, Captain Steve Hubert from Chum Bucket is catching a lot of silverfish. Every single day he's catching mix bag, including coho, steelhead, walleye, all of those mixed in with his ever consistent lake trout pattern. So if you're looking for an awesome end of season booking, Steve is gonna fish right up until they close the, the lake trout season on the last day of September. But I'm telling you what, this is an awesome time to come up here and have a great mix bag. He's got a fish on right now. You can pan away and just go ahead and show. Steve's fighting one right there and we're gonna take a break and I'm actually gonna walk back here and finish the hot bite report and watch probably one of these guys catch a fish. So the Alpina report is mix bag silvers. That's been what's going on. Here's our RWLT 100. This is our bracket, universal bracket for putting our hand liner reels on here, for putting our barbecue, barbecue grills on here, for putting our fish cleaning stations on here. Just has our lift and turn knuckle system in here. So this is just real easy. It just lifts and turns parallel with the gunnel wall or it'll come all the way inside the boat. So when we're docking, doesn't hit the side, doesn't hit any dock posts or interfere with anything. It's right back inside the boat. So really simple, but super strong, all machined aluminum be able to fish over the side of the boat and get everything right back inside. Now, we slide a little bit north of here. Just a couple days ago, uh, Cap, uh, uh, cameraman Brett and I were up at Sheboygan and we fished off a of Reynolds Reef. Had an awesome day, caught a bunch of Lakers. You'll see the fish flying across the screen. We had Travis Labor join us then uh, for the next day and we went out off of the even bigger reef, Spectacle Reef, and Travis took the kids with him, two years old and four years old, and they cranked in the fish. And we had a great day there. A great written report is gonna be up on the website for that. Dreamweaver Super Slims have been catching fish all along the East Shore. And um, the best part about it is, is it's really easy fishing. It's a combination of divers and lead, uh, I mean, and coppers and, uh, and the, of course our Trax Tex downrigger system. So multicolored spoons, whether it's mixed veggies or whether it's a bright orange spoons or whether it's gold spoons with, with orange on them, just any old type of bright spoon seems like this from Alpena North to the bridge. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. So then we jumped up after Max City, uh, we jumped up to St. Ignace and we went up into, um, oh shoot, I forgot the name of the bay already, but to be honest, we didn't do that good in that bay anyway. So where we really did good was Lighthouse Point, guys. You want a hot tip right now, east side of Boys Blank Island, Lighthouse Tip south to Lafayette Point. That stretch of shoreline is holding some high quality lake trout right now, along with some mixed bag pinks. We caught a pink today and it looks like we're reeling in a good fish here. What do we got? Oh, this is gonna be silver. So I'm just gonna get out of the way, take a little break and show Avery uh, the best first mate in training around. Uh, she's gonna net her dad's, what do you got? Lake nice lake trout, but I'll tell you what, what a day here on the hot bite report to finish it out. And uh, so what did we do at St. Ignace? Well, the same thing we did on the Holy Shore, St. Ignace, Max City, as well as Sheboygan and Alpena, all throwing the same thing at you right now, which is a mixed bag of nice lake trout, a mixed bag of, co of uh, coho, steelhead, and the occasional walleye. No, he didn't. He's there. Good job, Abe. And look at that, way to go. And we're putting them in the boat. Looks like green jeans. And guys, this is what fishing in Michigan's all about right now. The Hot Bite Report is here to tell you exactly how to do it. This week, we showed you some live catches. 
But we want you to go to the website, fishermansdigest.com, print out, off those fishing reports, because every single report we get was either personally gained by me or one of our valued charter captains. And Steve right there is holding a really, really nice Laker. Steve is the captain of Chum Bucket Charters. He's the uh, captain here out of Alpena that brings you all the great reports. And we really thank Steve for all the stuff. Richard, his dad, is our steering man in the background. You can tell he's always the tallest guy in the boat. Avery, his daughter, always comes and joins us, it seems like now. If she's in school, we just take her out of school. She's always sick those days. So here you go. There's a basket of chrome. We got a pink salmon here. We got some really nice coho salmon here. And a few nice Lakers. And Steve's going to add one more Mackinac. We're going to go back to the dock. We're going to flay those up. Hey, guys. We'll see you next week on the video Hot Bite Report. Thanks for joining us as always. And we'll be somewhere fishing next week, probably two places. See you next week. Wyandotte Lure manufactures soft plastic baits and fishing tackle right here in the Detroit area. Our famous original Wyandotte Worm and the new Motor City Minnow are made with our own special blend of material that is soft enough for a fish to bite, but durable enough to use all day. Our baits are available in over 30 different fish catching colors. Just another reason why Wyandotte Lure is known as the king of the river. Go to WyandotteLure.com or ask for them at your local bait and tackle store.